Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. I am back from my holiday and returning to a streak of 30, baby. It is lovely. I think we're onto Samson now. I realized, by the way, um, I've seen some comments. Uh, by the way, I've just got to say, I haven't replied to comments in ages, but I've been looking at them as they come in. Don't worry, I'm reading them. It's just, it's an overwhelming task. I forget about replying to them for like three days and all of a sudden I have like hundreds to reply to, which is a nice problem to have, but it's also quite overwhelming. And it's been like two weeks. Hopefully I'll have replied to most comments, or at least liked and hearted, so you know that I've read them by the time this video comes out, because this, this, we have a bit of a backlog going on. Anyways, I felt like I, I need to say it, but yeah. Some people have been asking why I haven't been playing modded characters recently. Honestly, it's nothing against them, I still love modded characters, but while we're on this crazy good streak, I, I, I want the sort of safety of playing a vanilla character, so we're less likely to get crashes and stuff. Also, I just, while we're on a win, like, we're winning constantly, why not go for unlocks? Like, why not go for, for completion marks? Because, like, the, the modded characters, some of them do have unlocks and completion marks, but we've got a decent amount of them, and some of them don't even have unlocks, so... That's kind of why, if you're wondering. As I've just been kind of going that way. I'm gonna play a Samson here. But yes, I am back from my holidays. The first video I'm recording after having gone to Amsterdam. It was a very good trip, although there were complications. Um, overall, it was really good. Um, we have two curses on right now. I'm not quite sure why. Um, overall, yeah, the trip was really good, but um, big complication in that our on the way back our flight was cancelled um, and we had to take the bus home from Amsterdam. The flight should have been 55 minutes. I was on a bus. For 16 hours. <laughs> it was pretty rough. <laughs> Wasn't ideal, but uh, eh, at least I got home. And we got home before the next flight would have been anyways as well. So we kind of saved ourselves quite a bit of time by getting the bus. Um, even though sitting on a bus for that long was kind of torturous. Um, overall, it saved us a lot of money and quite a lot of time. So in hindsight, I probably would still do it again, even though it was pretty brutal. This is kind of a, a slow going room here, but yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna fare in Isaac here. As I said, it's been a little bit of time since I last played Isaac. Um, it's been like just over a week, I think. So yeah, uh, th there's there's that of it. We'll see uh, if it affects affects my play too much, but hopefully not. Give us a key. Give us a key. Give us a key. Ah, you bastard. Okay, give us a key. It's not where I was hoping for my key to come from, but I'm pretty happy with it regardless. Double big rooms here. Let's take out the uh, the creep viewing dudes. One second. I've got like a I've got like a cut on my finger or something. Okay, there, there you go. There's like something stuck to my finger and it felt like I had a cut on my finger, but I do not. Yeah, get the blood spewing guys first and then these guys. Try and keep our distance when we kill these dudes as well. Oh, I wonder if they permanently spawn ghosts if they re, re uh, up themselves. I don't know how that works. Dude, the bomb's coming in right now. Pretty lovely. I don't know where I have and haven't been here. Okay, that's... That's gonna add to the confusion. No mapping. Why, why, why do I have two curses, exactly? What's... A, what is this punishment? What? What's wrong with you, game? It's mean. Oh, that one flew backwards then. It was weird. Pill? I'm gonna take a gamble on a pill. Not particularly useful for us. Okay, we've got enough damage to one-shot those guys, which helps a ton. Beautiful. But yeah, it was it was a really good trip. Um, had some absolutely amazing food. For my uh, actual birthday day, my girlfriend took me on a wine and cheese boat tour. Of which I don't like wine, but we both don't like wine. We just went there for the cheese. <laughs> and there was a lot of cheese, so I was very happy about that. Um, Hanged Man seems really good in here. Did that say only one drops a puzzle piece? Oh, okay, I see. And then risk the chance. Okay, I see. Nice one. That's overall decent enough. Tears up, HP down. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. HP down is obviously pretty rough as Samson, but tears up is a pretty goddamn good trade, I'd say. If it was going to be anything, it had to be a tiers up. Considering Samson does start with slightly lower tiers, so reasonably happy with that. We'll see how that fares. Get back here, Sporter. Right, 
Dude, the bombs are crazy. We need to find our goddamn item room. I'm, I'm, I'm so lost right now. <laughs> so goddamn lost. Wow. The look of that. So here's our shop, at least. Um, I guess I'll bomb you with all the goddamn bombs I have. I would probably take the, um, the eraser. The I don't know, should I take the eraser or should I take the goblin bag or whatever the hell that thing's called? Um, because the eraser, the eraser's like good, but not really as good on Fiend Folio. <laughs> on Fiend Folio, it kind of loses some of its oomph just because you uh, don't see the same enemy a ton. Good, I'm liking the amount of extra damage we've get, got so far. Like to get that HP back, thank you. Have to deal with these motherfuckers. Ooh, luckily the slowing is still in effect, though. Um, yeah, and like I guess I went to like a science museum that was really, really good as well. Took me to like a steak place on my birthday day, which was goddamn amazing. We went, we went to a, um, we went to a, what's it called? Um, like a really fancy six-star hotel uh, for cocktails. That was pretty awesome. They were like some of the nicest cocktails I've ever had in my life. They were, they were pricey, but I wasn't paying, so. <laughs> but yeah, it was really nice. Uh, was it this way for shop? I don't remember. I think it was this way. Yeah, there you go. Right, um. Let's have a little look-see. So, Razor's decent. Dice Goblin, that's what it's called. Spawn three random objects, one... Eh, we'll take a Razor. I think a Razor's likely to be a little bit better. If I can erase a spider on this floor, I'd be pretty happy. Um, I don't know how many combat rooms we have left, though, so... I'm not sure how likely that is. I don't... To be fair, do we even have any combat rooms left? The bigger question. We might not have any... Oh, wait, actually. Actually. Ha ha ha. Okay, I need to kill all the little midges. Let me go over and kill that and then get him in a straight line beautiful ha 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 pretty effective i think spiders are a really good one and um, they show up on i always say on every floor but on a lot of floors um and some bosses spawn them um some enemies spawn them and stuff like that it it, it helps us a ton it helps us an absolute ton like as this guy spawns these little things and these little things don't matter to us anymore. He also spawns spiders, of which he's no longer spawning. It's just, it's all around pretty good for us, really. And these guys are going to fully pupate and then spew out nothing. It's awesome. Oh! Just bar of soap is incredible as well. It also looks like the eraser, which is kind of funny. Right, we're not going for anything uh, particular here, apart from just doing dark path by the looks of things. So we'll just keep a roll in that direction. We got a puzzle piece here. A pet. Okay, I'm already happy because that means I'm getting familiar, I think. Okay, so yeah, basically now my next thing is like getting a fly or some other very, very common enemy. That's my next thing on my list here. Ha ha ha. Punching back can be a little bit of a nuisance sometimes, but right now he's pretty good. By the way, I did, I did get a comment recently from someone saying about their annoyance of me not using pills very often. I've said this multiple times before, but I, I sort of choose when I want to use pills versus when I don't. I have a few different sort of categories when I want to use pills. If I'm feeling reasonably okay about my run, then I will use pills. Um, let's do this first. That's pretty good. Um, then I, I will use pills. Uh, but if it's a run where, like, there's a little bit of sort of umming and ahhing, then it's, like, not as not as useful for me to use pills. Basically, it just depends what situation I'm in and what sort of run I'm on to whether I use them. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's not something that's going to be universal. I could erase dips, but dips are so harmless that there's just no point. I don't need to. These motherfuckers are potential, but I don't. Again, I don't think they're that quite common enough to be that useful for it. Good, good. Uh, let's grab the Platarium disc. Keep going with that. These little dudes are potentially a good idea as well. They show up pretty often. I don't know. I've not made my, not made my decision yet. Obviously, I can't leave it too long, but. I've not got 
obviously an unlimited amount of rooms. We do have a rune uh, disc, uh, not rune disc, a uh, rune room here. Um, of which, do you know what? I'll, I'll open up now. My keys are valuable, but still. Uh, we do get that, which is nice. We get Air Wars, spawns a trapdoor uh, to the Great Gideon special room. Okay, we'll go for that. Have a little look see here, shall we? Again, um my my boy helping me out there. Ooh hoo hoo, baby. Yes, definitely take dead eye here. Oh we get both. Okay, this was very worth it. Um Yeah, this was very, very worth it. We've got two chests here, of which I won't open the second one yet, since I've only got one key. I was going to open both, but I'll leave it for now. But that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good room to get. I'm happy with that. Right, yeah. We have uh, we have already seen our item room, but still. Um, Dead Eyes, absolutely fantastic for us here. Very happy with that. What I need now is luck increases. It'll make Virgo better. It'll make, um, it'll make our soybean better. Overall, it'll be quite good for us. Right, up this way. Okay, we're on the last legs now, so we kind of need to use our um, our eraser soon. So let's try and figure out where we're going to use it. There you go. I'm just go for those guys. Those guys are not super common, but they're just another type of spider that I don't want to deal with. So there you go. I think that's a reasonable place to do it. Good, good. Neptunus in the mix here. Oh, beautiful. That was lovely. Oh, very, very nice. Rotten meat here. I'll take... I want to keep my red hearts with this character. Um, so I'm going to just go down to the next floor and go for angel deals. Yeah, another place we went to um, while we are in Amsterdam is this ramen place. It had like a big statue of Mario um, in, the, in the window. And oh my god, it was such good ramen. And they had like... Uh, not something that I'm particularly interested in reading, but I still thought it was really cool. They had, um, like, One Piece, um, what do you call them? Comics? Are they comics? They're not comics, are they? But they, were, they were, like, books. They weren't really comics. But they had, yeah, they had One Piece uh, available, like, every seat for you to, like, read while you were there. And I just thought that was a really cool touch. It was very nice. Oh, dude, that guy got me. I need a full heart of damage as well, the rude bastard. The rude bastard. Um, anybody have a chance to be abducted by aliens? Right, we're, we're one puzzle piece off, so we'll come back for that. Because um, I don't think... I, I think we'll get a puzzle piece by the end of this floor, is what I'm saying. Cool. Check what's going on in here. Havoc Vault is a lot of fun. Um, let's try and use the Eraser in the next room. Okay, not this room. <laughs> this room is full of enemies that you very rarely see. I don't want to waste charges, but at the same time, I'm not wasting an eraser on a room of enemies you literally never see. Oh, Bernies are fantastic, yeah. Bernies are reasonably common and very annoying. Very happy to see them go. Right, let's go take Havoc Vault. I think Havoc Vault is a challenging but fantastic item. Basically, we kill 12 en like we, we charge it up and we kill 12 enemies and then we use it and we have to refight the 12 enemies we just killed in a in a large room um and we get uh, various rewards depending on what we get from the room. Sometimes you can get really goddamn good rewards, sometimes it's not so good. Most often than not it's decent though. You just got to be careful of what enemies are in your vault. Um, if you put a bunch of really difficult enemies in your vault, then go for it. You're gonna have a hard time. See, like right now, I'm not, I I'm not in the mood to take a pill right now because I really would not appreciate a health down or a tears down right now. If I had higher tears or higher HP, I would take it. Also, a bad trip would screw us over pretty hard as well. So I'm just not in the mood for that right now. So I'm not taking a pill to to put that at any jeopardy or any risk. Which I feel is perfectly sensible. Right, so we are now one kill and two charges off of our uh, 
Thingy goal, ha Havoc Vault. It's mainly going to be these fucking dudes from this room because there's a ton of them in the room. Good. And then one more charge. Yeah, it's, it's all about sort of a bit of balance between getting an easy Havoc Vault and um, using it when it's available sort of thing. That was very nice. Lovely. I'll also bomb into here so we don't have to use a key. Blue map would be very nice. We'll see if we can afford that by the end of the floor. Um, right. Let's go back and use Tough as Nails to get into our curse room for free. Basically the only thing Tough of Nails is, is useful for. And again, wait it out. Particularly good for us there. Oh, the red patch does synergize this character pretty well, but I like the abduction trinket more, I think. Uh, I just want to see if I get a puzzle piece by the end of this floor or not. Yeah, lovely. And this is our last room, and then we can pop Havoc Vault. Pop it. Uh, did nothing there? Is it broken? Oh wait, I've not got 12 enemies in it anymore. What the hell? Why? There you go, now I do. That was very strange. I've never had to do that before. It, like, minus enemies out of it. Okay, we've got a pretty easy room layout here. We've got a lot of space to work with and pretty easy enemies. Uh, so we're not going to have too hard a time here at all. Apart from if I walk directly into an enemy and get myself hurt. There you go. And out of that we got ourselves a chest, of which wasn't that good really. A trinket. That was, that was pretty decent. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Okay. Amazing. Go pick up the red heart. At this point, I'm just going to leave um, leave the the puzzle piece trinket. The higher likelihood of finding puzzle pieces, it's it's whatever. I'd rather have our um, trans to abduct enemies, which is both funny and pretty useful. So let's grab that. Alien transmitter. Right, and we'll go by the blue map as well, because blue map is pretty useful with the amount of bombs we've been gifted this run. We have been generously blessed by the god of... Do you know what? At this point, my health is looking better. Let's take the pill. There you go, we've got a ranger. It's not that I, like, I'm, I'm too completely averse to risk. Like, basically, the person in the comment pointed out that, like, oh, you don't take pills, yet you do tons of other risky stuff in your runs. Why is that? And it's a perfectly, like, normal sort of reasoning. I do a lot of risky stuff in my runs, yet I don't really take pills too often. It just depends. Sometimes I feel like it, sometimes I don't. Um, the only boss room I am in the is ones that modify damage. Ooh, okay, we're definitely going to hold that for now. In fact, that... That might just be worth keeping, <laughs> like, throughout the rest of this run. We got this pretty early on. I think I'm going to keep that. The abducting aliens thing is fun, but only getting damage upgrades from boss rooms is pretty good. Obviously, that means no more tier rate increases, but I think I'm okay with that right now. The thing is, as well, we get more of a benefit out of Dead Eye the higher our damage is. Good, good. There you go. Look, a bit of damage there. And to the next floor, yeah. I think we're good. I think we're good. Good, good, good. I right, no angel deal as of yet. Wait until it pops. Yeah. Could give you HP, but honestly, it's not a good idea. I've had these guys take four full hearts to pay out before. I ain't down with that. Havoc Vault's almost ready once again. Holy shit. Um, well... 
we got Error's Crazy Slot, which I don't think I've ever had before. On use, a three number slot appears above your head. Using the item again locks in the number and the slot cycles faster after each number is locked. Once all three numbers is locked, the player is granted an item of the ID shown in the three numbers. If the ID is invalid, the player is teleported to an I am error room. I'm guessing that's it. Very interesting. So we pop this. And then I'm going to go for like five. And then I'm going to go for like eight. No. Was... Eyesores. That's a really goddamn cool item. I've never seen that before. Okay, I'm pretty happy with eyesores actually. It's not obviously great. And I'm sure there's a, a, a way to like more heavily target what you want out of that. Um, But that's that's pretty intriguing. I like that. I like that a lot. I wonder if Ice Stores counts against Dead either. It doesn't seem to actually right now. But that that's that's a pretty cool item. Yeah, I gotta say, I bet there is a good way to like target sort of what you want. But I'm not smart enough or quick enough to do that. What the hell? You just killed your own babies there. Was that on purpose? Definitely taking a while to kill things at the minute. I think it's because we've been hit onto the floor, so we had a lot more damage from um, Lusty Blood. It's slightly overwhelming, to be honest. I like the little breaking noise he makes. Okay, if you could come back into the arena so I could kill you. Oh my god. I got hurt on purpose, it's fine. Cool. And then Havoc Vault is ready. Uh, we just need 12 kills first. We're not quite there on the kills front. Speed up. Don't like the idea of that. Although, I do like the idea of you getting stuck on my buddy here. Oh no, you didn't get stuck for long though, did you? We did get Yum Heart out of this, which is surprising. But nice. Right, let's keep moving. Keep it grooving. But yeah, you can't imagine how boring 16 hours on a bus is. Unless you've done it yourself, then you can probably imagine it. But it was very, very dull. Luckily, I was quite tired, so I was able to sleep a decent amount. But it wasn't, like, good or comfortable sleep because it was on a fucking bus. Okay, cool. Havoc Vault is ready. We've got the same room type again, which isn't kind of common. Like, you normally get, like, different rooms. Virgo here is going to help massively. If I use Virgo as much as I can here to get in there and get the kills. Nice, and this time we got an item. Not a great item, mind you, but it was an item. We got ourselves some fast bombs. Good, good. Oh, big spider boys. Slightly sad to not have um, the eraser anymore. That'd be quite nice, but hey, her Steven Floor is available to us. We have some items that would be good to do in Steven Floor, I guess. I don't know if I'm feeling it too much at the minute, though. Oh, dude, you telefragged me a little bit there. Well, not really, but I'm going to say that you did. Oh, God, I lost so much health in that room. So much HP gone. Um... Play that guy a little bit. Didn't realise that put our burn heart in such jeopardy though. I kind of forgot that it would take from your burn heart first still. Is this even hard so you can get to? Okay, that's good. Yeah, I kind of forgot it would do that to my burn heart. I love the way that it gets rid of the tiny spiders as well with the eraser. Like when it tries to summon them. Like when they, for some reason they're still able to spawn like that. But when they're directly summoned it just doesn't like it. It's weird. There are you. Have a call again. Here we go. We finally got a different room this time. Slightly more annoying room, though, I'd say. Just due to the blue blocks, which can be a little annoying. Especially with the webbing in the middle. 
Sadly, the blue blocks do not trigger for enemies, so they're not getting hurt by it. Oh, we did get the triple heart payout, though. That's one of the rarer... I think item and triple heart payout are the two rarer ones. Both very, very useful. Let's pop this chest open, hope for a soul keeper. Nah, not quite. Got a little bit more than we paid into the chest at the back, which is always nice. And the shop holdeth a mother's love. Very much like it. Little monster is actually pretty good too. Do not mind a little monster in my pouch. And the stat increases do not go um, unappreciated either. Uh, item room is still not been shown to us yet, so let's keep it moving. Better up another soul heart. We're getting pretty lucky on, like, the HP drops we're getting. Do you know what? I'll take two rotten hearts here. I think they'll be pretty valuable for us, especially as our damage increases when we get hit. I think that's pretty goddamn good. We're not under any time constraints here. We've done both boss rush and hush this run, so no need to worry about that. Yeah, my, it's um, it's my friend's birthday today as well, um, and we're going to go out for, like, food and stuff with him. Um, and I didn't know what to buy him. It was Obviously, it's my birthday on the 24th, and his on the 30th it is today. Um, ooh, that's a good, it's a good active item. But I'm, I'm going to go with what I've got, though. Um, yeah, uh, and, like, he bought me some really nice D&D &D dice, because we're going to play a D&D &D campaign soon. So he got me some really nice D&D &D dice for my birthday. Um, and... I've decided that I'm just going to buy him Baldur's Gate, <laughs> which is a pretty expensive gift to be fair, because it's like still like £50, but I was like, do you know what? No. It's such a good game, and you like D&D, and you don't earn it yet. You need to have this. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to start up. He's going to DM uh, a D&D game that we're going to start up soon, and I'm basically just going to make my Baldur's Gate character in our real-world D&D so that I understand what I'm doing a lot better. Um... Because now I sort of understand, like, how to play a Warlock. Because in, in uh, Baldur's Gate 3, I'm playing a Warlock. So I understand it a bit more now. And I think that'll help a lot in playing a normal campaign. It means there's not as much to figure out as I'm going. Um, even though, obviously, it's a bit familiar to me. And you, you sort of more preferably do things that aren't familiar to you. Um, well, this is tricky now. Because Brain Worm's, of course, really goddamn good. And so is uh, Angel's Crown. I'm going to go with Job's Rags here. Um, we have not done Mega Satan. How many more boss items do we have coming our way? we got one. We've only got two more boss items coming our way. So we're only going to get two more uh, damage upgrades out of this. We've, we've only got one more treasure room. So I think we take Brain Worm. And yeah, let's go to the next floor. Yeah, I gotta say, like, it might be a bit boring to play something so familiar, but, like, in my first proper D&D campaign, or at least first proper 5e D&D campaign, I think it's probably a good idea to go with something I know. Oh, also, this helps with eyesores as well, having brain worms, so... Good choice, I think. Good choice. Now, we do have this massive fire rate boost from Job's Rags for the start of this floor, so we don't want to piss around too much. I want to try and make the most of it. It lasts for 90 seconds, I think. It's a pretty goddamn hefty increase. Good thing is we can just kind of fire everywhere and hit. Also as well, um, we can more easily hit... Uh, do this. We can more easily hit for Deadeye with Brimworm. So Brimworm was really the obvious choice here. I don't even know why it was a decision I was making. Oh, that's Creep. I didn't realize that was Creep. And the Devil Crown here as well. Both crowns have shown themselves to us. Yeah, overall, Brain Worm was a very easy choice now that I look back. Check in here real quick. Eh, it's not amazing, but I'll take Fanny Pack and a Soul Heart. Why not? Why the hell not? Item room, don't escape me this time, please. Run around for a bit. Hopefully we get a fire rate upgrade this time from our boss. So actually having a full fire rate upgrade would be pretty nice. I think boss is this way, but I'm going to go this way and see if item room's on the way to boss. Sometimes it is. Good. 
Havoc Vault's ready again. These hands are taking a really long time to drop. There you go. We did get ourselves an item this time, but unfortunately it was a book, and it was a poop book. Literally. Don't appreciate the poop book game. Yeah, I really like Havoc Vault. It's a very interesting item idea. Shining Clicker isn't very good at all, but it's better than nothing. We also just got an all stats up from clicking a button, apparently, which is kind of nice. Oh, no, we didn't. I see what happened. Uh, there's our little pet joker. That's rather nice. We uh, picked up the little key buddy. The key buddy counts as a familiar, um, but... Little Chad also counts as a permanent familiar now, so we're good on that front. So we've seen our item room. We are good to go. We've got our Joker if we want to use that. And we probably will. And yeah, not quite as much damage as we had on previous floors this floor, but still looking good. Able to kill these guys with relative ease. I like all the Linger Beans just chilling about there. There you go. Nice and easy. Defib's pretty good. And Astral Assistance is also pretty good. Happy. Now I can go Devil Deal if I'd like to. Now that I've got my key pieces going. We also got a Havoc Bolt play out of that. Oh, which is very... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's all the fucking segments of the boss. That's so strange. Oh, we got Seraphim out of it as well. That's, it's very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Seraphim is really good because for one, it's a good familiar. And for two, it's a familiar. So the Mother's Love gives us an all stat. So. Beautiful stuff there. Wow, very, very nice. I'm going to pop the Joker as soon as we get to the next floor, I think, here. Yeah, I will do. We got Angel Deal again. We got good old Holy Water. Rather nice. Uh, so, by the way, someone... Uh, let, let me just quickly destroy this. And I, I want to quickly go over something. Because someone described something to me recently. So, th this Jet Feather. Angel deals no longer vanish when another's taken. But now cost health. So, basically, someone was like... They never really got the idea of this. And neither did I, to be honest. But someone explained something really interesting. In a room like that, that I just had. Where there was two Angel deals available. And you've already got your key pieces. If you kill the Angel first and then take the items, you can take both, or if there's that room where there's four of them or whatever, you can take all of them. So it's, it's all about order, like, pr order of operation. You've got to kill the angel and grab the jet feather first uh, to make it more valuable. I'm still going to grab it anyways because I think it's useful here. Um, but in the case where there's two things you want, it's actually more useful to kill the angel first. Now, obviously, in our situation, the other item was not valuable to us, so I didn't mind. Uh, but that's sort of how that works. Well, this is an annoying room. Basically, just got to wait here. Oh, dude, pop up on one that I can actually reach, please. There you go. Little annoying there, little annoying. Wait for this. The black heart. Oh, there was a chest in there. Ah, and I hurt myself. God damn it. Blank rune. Yeah, I, I played that pretty poorly, but it's fine. Okay, we got a blank rune out of it. That might do something for us. Havoc Vault's almost ready once again. Take this. Take this.
go straight in here. Into the vault. Right, I've got to bomb my way over there. Oh, for fuck. Wrong timing on that. Oh, there's a bloody kill switch over here as well. God damn it. Snow globe, unfortunately not really useful for us. Got a soul out of this though. Okay. Not too displeased with that. All our shit's disappearing. Ah, I didn't want that pill. I want my blank rune in case I can reroll something. Just for the chance at a reroll, even though it's not super likely. Oh god damn, yeah, I'm loving. I mean, this this is not not something that needs to be said, but I'm loving Brainworm right now. I think everyone loves Brainworm all the time, so it's not something I really need to mention, but there you go. Why is everything dropping money? Did I use a card by accident? I think I've got one of those thingy curses on, to be honest. Curse of the swine, yeah, I do. Okay. Curse the tower. Probably not a good idea. I'll try to reroll it. All done. Nice. We get battery pack, which doesn't do particularly much for us. Sadly. Ah, bugger. Curse of the tower, I'm sorry, but you are not really it for us. It's not an item I hate, but without any bomb upgrades, I don't find it particularly useful either. If I had a few bomb upgrades, I, I even if it's take, like I'm taking damage from it, I do still find it useful. Got a few stat upgrades there for the boss, why not? Good, good. And it's boss time. Ah, uh, we're 11 out of 12 on this as well. God damn it. Easy peasy. And then we're taking Dark Path, right? Yes, indeed we are. Grab that Soul Heart. Down we go, and we'll use Havoc Vault straight away. Curse of the Sun we have this time. I love doing it straight away at the start of a floor, because you get that massive fire rate boost. Helping us out. Mum's key is not particularly bad. Not super, super useful this layer on, but it's not bad at all. Right. Keep it moving. Good thing is the Havoc Vault is actually super easy to fill up with enemies, because there's so many enemies per room at this stage. But in that aspect... Pretty easy to get it filled up, like it's already at 12. Hey, we've got a library here. I might be commi I might be tempted to swap. Uh, Gain the disease and medical edition for the rest of the floor. Yeah, do you know what? I think I will take that. I think that's, that's pretty good. I should also get Bookworm as well. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, that would have been stupid if I didn't get Bookworm there. I am surprised that, considering Bookworm exists, that there's library layouts that have any more than two books. Especially two, any more than two that you don't have to, like, fly or take damage to grab. It's just literally, here's free Bookworm, even if you don't like any of the books. Bookworm is pretty strong. Uh, ooh, that's, that's tempting, but obviously Brainworm is just too good to let her. It's too hot to stop. Hope we can go the right way here. I don't know what I'm saving my br um, my boss free trial for. Boss disc. But here we are. For some reason I'm saving it. Oh, yes. Put some parasite on that bad boy. I like the game like crazy, but it's fun. Especially with Muramai Curses, how heavy you say the name of this thing. I will forever call it Muramai Curses, even though I know that's not how it's pronounced. It just, it just flows very well. It, it, it feels nice to say. Keep booming through here. 
beautiful. And we could use our book again here, but why not wait till the next floor? Well, this guy isn't dying quite as fast as I thought he would. I mean, it's still fast, but I thought he would have, like, just uh, been annihilated with Parasite and stuff going on, but not quite, not quite. Um, heart converted into three soul hearts. Yeah, that's just not worth. It's nice, but I'd rather have some red health available. Pop this bad boy. There you go. We literally got a spore shot back straight away. I can switch between two possibilities. It's not particularly good, just because there's not going to be any, like, many items this floor. But could be good if we get, like, an angel deal or whatnot. So, I'll take it. Could be good in the secret room here, maybe. Ah, it was not. Beeline it here. We're able to clear rooms very, very quickly at this stage, and health is no problem. Honestly, this is a really nice run to come back from off of holiday, because it's just a breeze. Oh, we got Spore Shot twice. Interesting. Apparently, Spore Shot is heavily weighted, because it's third time it's shown up in, like, four uses of the item. Yeah, so being able to get through most of the floor while still getting a fire rate bonus from Job's Rags is very, very nice. Particularly interested in that. Just a bunch of D12s. Still got another one of those Cares of the Swines. Not too interested in it. The flies would have been the next thing to get rid of with our Eraser, but didn't get the need to. Infestation 2, that's a pretty good one. Some of these medical diseases ain't, ain't too bad, are they? They ain't too bad. Oh, that damage there was pretty awful, though. Okay, boss time. Should be a very easy boss for us. We'll do our boss disc as well. To gain some extra damage and stuff. Oh, being able to skip the phase in the middle is so nice. Please give us an angel deal or whatnot. It did. We'll get cycling items here. Um... So, we want to go with Job's family, definitely. And this little bad boy as well, Swarm Protector. I was hoping for Conjoined, because of Brainworm. Uh, and I was hoping for more Mother's Love from the Familiars. So, did pretty well there, I think. Um, and I don't, I don't, I'm just going to check. I don't know what happens if we kill this guy again after we've got this. I don't think anything, but I've got to try it. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Anyhow, that went pretty well, and we are going down. Yeah, I was pretty glad that we uh, that we got the, the Perthra rune room there. That worked out pretty well for us. Curse of Stone. Don't quite know what that is. A mulligan. Oh, pretty good with the fire we've got going on right now. Mulligan works nicely for us. I was like, why are my shots so small? But I think I got the lemon item um, in my boss disc. I think it'll go away very shortly. My tears will plump up to full size. We got Hemolacria in the business here. Wasn't quite expecting Hemolacria here, but certainly take it for the rest of this floor. It'll make our life a lot easier. We've already done Delirium as this guy as well, so no one needs to worry about doing Delirium. There you go. Oop, I did get hit there, apparently. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Right. Anything that I want to trade here, I'm not sure. I don't know. They might cost money now, though, so we'll see. Curse of the Scythe. They unfortunately don't cost money now. Um... Ceremonial robes is worthwhile. You're also worthwhile. I think that's good to go. Yeah, it's another familiar, and it's more damage in the damage aura, and the damage itself. It's all, it's all good, man. It's all good. 
And at the minute we're gaining the full fire rate burner, so I wanted to go and do Mega Satan straight away to gain that full fire rate burner. Because the items we gain from doing the floor, especially with only 2.3 luck, are never going to be as powerful as the amount of fire rate that we currently have. Especially with Brain Worm, we're hitting most of our shots. Like, we stand in the right location. You can literally get every single shot to hit with Brain Worm and Conjoined. It's very, very nice. And with the, with the boss being so big, very hard to miss uh, and remove our damage bonus from Deadeye. Yeah, look, we kept that fire rate bonus for most of this fight here. Oh, you brimstoned me. What am I going to do? Only thing is we get to use our uh, encyclopedia book to gain any additional items. That would have been nice, but overall not too bad. At this point, I'm literally just going to face tank. He's going to die before he can kill me. Most certainly. Either way, nice fun run to get back, to ease me back into some Isaac. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I very much did indeed. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.